All right, let's get it out of the way early. I have January 6th face. I know this, all right? <laughs> I'm pretty progressive though. My pronouns are stand by and stand down. Uh, I look like I really want to talk to you about that show Yellowstone. I really get into it. I dress like a father who is not acknowledged yet that his son is gay, you know? They're roommates, what's the big deal? They met on the wrestling team in college. I'm babysitting their teacup Yorkies this weekend. They got tickets to a bodybuilding competition. That's what guys do. Uh, I was an ugly kid growing up though. Uh, I actually had a priest one time go, listen, it's not you, it's me. <laughs> I got holy ghosted folks, I was holy ghosted. I had a woman one time actually tell me, she goes, you're a New York four. I said, yeah, but I'm a Comic-Con seven. So I got that going for me, which is nice. I built a Batmobile once out of a Kia Sorento, if you want to check it out. But uh, I grew up in Queens. I grew up in a very uh, middle class Irish Catholic family. We were very, very working class people. I was the first one in my family to go to college without a, th that didn't have the word community in it. You know, that's how working class we are. Um, Queens is like a very, it's a melting pot. You know, you got every religion, ethnicity, everything there. My best friend growing up was my friend Mario. Mario's 100% Italian. Not the little guy that was out here, it's a different Mario. There's more than one, sorry. There's more than one. He wasn't a plumber either that ran through pipes and kicked turtles. It's a different Mario. But Mario, my best friend growing up, 100% Italian. Mario is so Italian, his blood type is olive oil. That's how Italian... Mario thinks a shirt with sleeves is formal wear. That's how Italian Mario can be. Mario cried when the situation went to jail. That's how Italian Mario is. Mario just had his first kid, right? Had his first kid, had a son. Wanted to give the son a very masculine, very Italian first name. He named his son, what the fuck are you looking at? That's how Italian, I mean, Mario's a tough, tough dude. The kid's full name is what the fuck are you looking at? Spaghetti Bolognese, Godfather part two. But we're gonna call the kid Tony Soprano for short. That's his nickname. Uh, what else is going on in the news? What's happened to Ukraine? War's still going on, right? It's terrible. So I am doing my part for the Ukraine. I have boycotted all Russian hookers out of my life. I mean, I don't know what you're doing, but I think, you know, take that Putin. Sanctions, that's what I say, folks. No, I only, I, I got a hooker once in my life, once. I went with the girlfriend experience hooker. I don't know if you ever heard of this one, but it's like having a girlfriend for the night. And this girl was amazing. She was great. By the end of the night, I was out 300 bucks. She didn't want to have sex. And for whatever reason, I'm going to her parents' house for Christmas dinner because my mother does not respect boundaries, all right? I don't know. I just want my hoodie back, you know? She was good. She was good. But I'm glad we're going through these trying times. Thank God we have Joe Biden to lead us through this. Uh, woo! How do you fall off a bike that's not moving? It's like crashing a parked car. He's the hospital food of presidents, folks, all right? He's very bland, and he is doing just enough to keep us alive right now, you know? Thank you. I love you. You're a beautiful person. Yes, keep it going for incompetent leadership. Yes, all right. But, uh, but here's the other thing too, 80 years old. He's 80, all right? 80 years old, he's got, you know, the Ukraine. Every problem here, the economy, gas prices, inflation, all of this stuff, 80. To give you a little bit of perspective, my father, God love the man, 75 years old. We don't let him use 
the microwave anymore if no one's home, okay? I will spare you the tinfoil incident of 2018 in my parents' house before me. Oh, boy. So, uh, glad everyone's out here. I'm sure everyone's vaccinated, right? A lot of vaccination. We only get vaccinated. All right, you know, stay away from it. Uh, uh, uh. But listen, I didn't want to get vaccinated. I kind of like had to get vaccinated because you can uh, follow me on this one, buddy. When, 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 you're, when you carry around a few extra, you know, you, you wanted to get it done. Because here was, here's what happened. Every person that looked like this, that talked shit about COVID, within three weeks, you were watching a Facebook Live video going, this thing is real. You gotta go get the shot. Oh my God, get the shot. Darlene, kiss the kids, I love you. I didn't want to, I had to. Was, uh... Feel me. I can sense our own. But uh, we were all quarantined for a while. I watched a lot of TV, watched a lot of movies, right? I just found out, though, they're rebooting one of my favorite television shows of all time. Fear Factor is coming back, folks. Did you hear about this? Fear Factor is coming back. Not with Joe Rogan, sir. Let me finish. It's, it's in a joke. You just, it's coming back. They're not calling it Fear Factor either. The name of the show now is called The New York City Subway System. So I think it's going to be pretty amazing. Uh, I saw them filming an episode the other day. It was just some guy covered in rats. He was eating a bull's penis. I don't know. <laughs> Joe Rogan is not hosting. I know that was your question. You're very... The new host of the show is this guy. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. <laughs> so he's good for him. He's making it. <sighs> I watched a lot of movies during quarantine. I watched a lot of Marvel movies. Superhero movies, and I'm gonna say this: I'm done. I'm done with superhero movies. I can listen. I can suspend disbelief long enough. All right, like a 15-year-old kid gets bit by a spider and he can climb walls, or some dude turns into this giant green raging Hulk machine and can destroy a city, or that women are stronger than men. But here's where I draw the line, folks. You're gonna tell me a white guy from 1940s Brooklyn is gonna get frozen in ice for like 80 years. And the second you thaw this guy out, he's like the wokest guy on the planet. I don't believe it. I'm gonna, you know, I think there's a lot of deleted scenes in that movie that we didn't see, folks. I think he's, I think he's sitting around the table, he looks at Thor and he's just like, did you see Falcon use the same bathroom as us? I mean, is that, I don't know, it's been 80 years, I don't know. Is it, wait, wait, Black Widow is making the same amount of money as me? What the? Why do I have to know pronouns? But, uh, done with that. I am trying to get healthy, though. I'm trying to, trying to lose weight. Uh, I don't know if you are. I mean, it looks like you're enjoying that, so I'm going to throw a no out there on that one. He looks good. He looks. I like that shirt. Is that your husband? Wow, you overkicked your coverage, buddy. Wow. Oh, no, wait. He's my son. He's very handsome. He is handsome. He's very handsome. He's very handsome. All right, now we're going to get an eye on Jerry Springer in front of me right now. All right, listen. Listen, he's a very handsome man. You did a great job raising him. I love that. I bet did he buy you that cross? No, he should have. <laughs> he got that big horn, oh my god! You could feed a family of six with that horn around his neck, Jesus! Peppa! I'm Irish, I don't know, sauce gravy, I don't know what you people do! I gotta go ask Mario! Mario! Mario, everyone loves Mario! But, uh, I am trying to get healthy, and, uh, I quit drinking, though, like four years ago. And uh, people often, don't clap, I wasn't happy about it. People often ask me, they're like, hey Mike, 
did you have a come to God moment when you stopped drinking? And uh, I always tell them no. I had more of a will the defendant please approach the bench kind of moment. <laughs> which was an amazing motivator to stop drinking. <laughs> Woo! But uh, I see everyone now, the new thing now to do is being California sober. Does anyone know what being California sober is? Yeah, you're old white people from Long Island. I live in the city, I'll tell you right now. Here's the deal. You don't drink anymore and you don't do hard drugs, but you can smoke all the pot you want. Right? Yeah, just smoke weed. Basically, at my age, I don't need a drug that helps me eat snacks, take naps, and forget to do shit, all right? I need crack in a to-do list at this stage of the game, folks. My younger sister, though, she practices something a little different. She's Long Island sober. Do you guys know what Long Island sober is? Okay, she doesn't drink and she doesn't smoke weed. Uh, she just blows a lot of dudes for pills and coke. So, I'll give you her number after the show. If anyone wants to see me, I'll be at the bar. Listen, keep it going. This is a great cause. Follow me on Instagram, Michael Salvatore. You guys are doing great. Thank you.